I want to share with you guys the CV that I used to land my first penetration testing job. This is the exact CV that I used to apply for that role. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there are going for the OACP, is trying to land that first role in cybersecurity. So I hope this helps you guys out um, just to give you a better idea of what to put on your CV and what sort of experience that uh, companies are looking for when hiring um, for these type of roles. So here it is, um, we'll go through my CV. It's only two pages, nothing too crazy. This is a template that I grabbed probably like five or six years ago. You can definitely do better than this, but it's simple. Um, I've used this CV template previously as well and um, it works, it works. So at the top, I've got my qualifications, I've got my certifications. So I do have a degree in computer science. I left the day out because it was a long time ago. I got that degree in 2010 and actually I worked in a different industry before pivoting my career back into IT. Um, in my degree it was fairly software engineering focused degree. I got a lot of programming experience out of that degree but I haven't used it extensively in a, the professional sense like working as a software developer or anything like that but the knowledge of that definitely still comes in handy now when I'm on my day-to-day -day job. Um, I've got some Microsoft certifications which I did get during my previous job and also some CompTIA certification, so the CompTIA trifecta. I also put there um, my CTF profile, so that's hack the box, try hack me, and I also put OSCP study in progress on there as well. So in terms of the work experience, I did get to do two Active Directory penetration tests under contract before I landed my first full-time pen testing job. So those two contracts, um, the first one actually came about from my previous job where we had a client who needed a penetration test done. And the other one was a job that I actually applied for myself online and that was um, done remotely. So those two pen tests definitely helped um, boost my CV up a little bit to that level where I was able to get a full-time pen testing job. I've talked about it briefly in previous videos before, but I pretty much did these two tests with just about say six to seven months of try hack me and hack the box experience and just from googling random articles on active directory pen testing i was able to perform a pretty a good result out of those two tests so that's not to say that i am a super elite or anything like that it's more to say that some of the networks out there, um, they really need a lot of help with their security. And, you know, someone who is pretty much like a script kitty level can escalate up pretty easily in some environments out there. So I was pretty fortunate to get those two opportunities uh, before I landed uh, the full time role. Previous to that, I was working at an MSP as a support engineer, pretty much like level one, level two help desk type of work. I did do a lot of like a scripting and uh, I put my hand up for any sort of cybersecurity related work that came in. So I sort of built up a niche of cybersecurity in that role which did help me um, land the two contracts that I spoke about previously. So 
as a support engineer that is actually a super good way to get into IT and to build up your general IT experience. A lot of cybersecurity jobs out there, they do want you to have some sort of IT experience previously. Um, I was at this previous job for about one and a half years. During my degree, I didn't really learn too much about the networking side of things because it was pretty uh, software development heavy. So this job at the MSP was really good to just get the basics of networking down, um, just actually like learn IT from the ground up in a way. That is why um, a lot of uh, cybersecurity companies, they do want you to have that uh, IT experience, whether that's in help desk, whether that's software development, any sort of IT experience uh, goes a long way when you're trying to land a cybersecurity job. Um, that is not to say that um, landing a cybersecurity job straight out of university is impossible because there are definitely people at my current pen testing job that are straight after university, after they've got the OACP, for example. If you can't land that cybersecurity role straight away, I wouldn't really turn down any roles that is um, like IT support. Just do that for like half a year, a year, and then you'll find that a lot more doors will open for you after you've done like a year brushing up your basics. And then before that, I was working in financial services. I skipped that section because it's not really relevant to an IT job. But if you have any experience, say in customer service and technical writing, anything like that where you have gotten that experience from a different industry, put that in your CV because as a penetration tester, you have to write reports and you have to communicate your findings to the relevant stakeholders. So you do need communication skills and writing skills and just general people skills. So any of that experience, do mention that um, aspect of your experience in the interview as well. So that's it, um, pretty, pretty basic CV. You can copy this format if you want. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, it's nothing too crazy. Um, pretty much, yeah, just um, some work experience as a penetration tester and OSCP study in progress. In the interview, I did talk a lot about my OSCP uh, study and the previous pen testing contracts, which I think is what made the difference um, in my interview. And obviously you need some interview skills as well, right? Like um, just general, like speaking to people, people skills. That's an area that, uh, it's also a skill that you have to develop, right? It's, it's kind of like um, when you're learning penetration testing, you have to be on the keyboard practicing the thing. And as with interviews, you kind of need to go to some interviews and really suck at them for a while. And then slowly you become better and you sort of just learn from that experience. If you have the OACP or you can demonstrate some sort of pen testing experience like I did with these two contracts, you should definitely be getting interviews. And if you don't have experience, uh, putting hack the box, try hack me profiles in your CV can definitely count as experience. If you end up in the interview and you can talk about what you have learned and what you have done on those two platforms, it will definitely go a long way. So um, yeah, just keep at it guys. Um, keep smashing out, try hack me on hack the box, um, go for that OACP prep. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll be getting interviews and then 
all you have to do is um, go to those interviews, suck at those interviews, fail a couple of them, and then um, after that, you you kind of just get good at it, just like when you practice on the keyboard pen testing stuff a lot you just get better at it after a while so that's what you have to do um, don't give up um, keep going for those um, job applications and um, yeah i'm sure you're gonna land a pen testing job soon if you keep at it uh, that's it for my cv and this video um, i hope it has been useful for you guys and um, i'll catch you in the next video